Hello, my name is Hoang Chu and this is my presentation for ICRA 2020. It's called Discovering Interpretable Dynamics by Sparsity Promotion on Energy and the Lagrangian, or Lagrangian CD in short. As this presentation is for model learning for control, the general objective is clearly to generate a model of a robot or physical system from data. There are powerful methods that can map input and output, such as neural networks, yet they are considered black boxes that do not reveal causal relations. In this research, we will take a completely interpretable approach so that the discovered model is transparent and one can answer why when investigates it. Apart from that, we aim to determine the Lagrangian as it compresses a multidimensional model into a single scalar and allows the calculation of dynamics with the Euler Lagrangian method. Lastly, we expect to create an algorithm that counts prior knowledge instead of doing a random search. Next, I would like to introduce the related works that inspired our ideas. Remarkable progress was made by Smith and Lipson in terms of showing that it is possible to distill natural laws from experimental data. That work employed the evolutionary algorithm that autonomously build and test candidate functions and select the meaningful ones. Taking control of the building process, Cindy, created by Brunton, Proctor and Kurtz, computes a library of candidate functions and approximates the time derivative of the state with a linear combination of those functions. A work by Kaiser, Kutz, and Brunton adopts the CND technique yet aim for conservation laws which contain the total energy in case of an isolated or conservative system. We were intrigued by the question of whether we can use an energy-like function that is discovered by the CND approach as a medium to extract dynamics. Our method is divided into two main parts. First, I would like to delineate how we adopt CND to find the total energy. Following the concept of CND that a function can be presented as a linear combination of nonlinear terms, the total energy of a system is constructed as a sum of various terms such that each term is a function of the state. Here, theta is the library of candidate functions and C is the vector of coefficients. So the total energy equals theta C. Next, the matrix gamma, which is the time derivative of the matrix theta, is calculated using the chain rule, and the product gamma C should be comparable to the change of the total energy. In the subsequent step, we mark known terms which appear in simple systems that form the complex system in orange, then select a few terms from the rest of the terms and combine them into a reduced gamma matrix. This process is to incorporate prior knowledge and to ensure the sparsity of the solution. We then repeat the aforementioned process to obtain all possible reduced gamma and solve the linear regression for C and select the best model. Now I would like to show how to calculate the Lagrangian from the Hamiltonian. Under certain conditions, the total energy and the Hamiltonian coincide. Generally, for popular mechanical systems in the field of robotics, these conditions are satisfied if the effect of friction is neglected. Therefore, we assume the total energy to be the Hamiltonian in this research. As you know, in classical mechanics, a Hamiltonian function is constructed from the Legendre transformation of a Lagrangian function as this equation, where canonical coordinates are denoted q and canonical momenta are denoted p. If we reuse theta in the previous step, the Lagrangian can be represented as theta CL. We can rewrite the equation as this equation. Although it looks slightly complex, it is a linear equation, and CL can be solved easily to eventually give us the Lagrangian. We employ three idealized multi DOF nonlinear systems as objects for experiments. They are cut pendulum system double pendulum and spherical pendulum, respectively, in all systems. The length of the rod is 1 meter, and gravitational acceleration is 9.8 meters per second square. The masses are all 1 kilogram except MP being 0 0.1 kilogram. In all systems, data are sampled at 100 Hz, 
and gravity is the only external force. We test actuated and passive schemes on each system. In the actuated scheme, data are collected for a period of 1 second, while in the passive scheme, data are collected for 3 seconds. In the actuated scheme, we can compute the rate of change of the total energy, while we don't have that information in the passive scheme. Now let's move to the performance of our method. The extracted quantities are displayed in this table, with the first row showing the expected equations. If we put the parameters into these equations, we will obtain the results shown in the other rows. Therefore, we can conclude that both forms and coefficients are accurately calculated, resulting in the discovery of physical laws that match the true underlying dynamics. However, as you see, there are two failures. The failure of the passive spherical pendulum case indicates that Lagrangian CD performs better with observation and interaction because interaction provides additional information. The failure of the noisy double pendulum case portrays a shortcoming that Lagrangian CD is noise sensitive, especially with highly chaotic systems. Here is the motion of the system in a period of 6 seconds. The equations of motion are calculated using the Euler-Lagrangian method, and they are then used for simulation. As the discovered Lagrangian functions match the true quantities, it is no abstruse that the motions of the discovered models closely resemble those of the true models, even in the range from the third second to the end, which is beyond the learning dataset. Now I would like to demonstrate how our work is beneficial for controlling tasks. Let's consider the task to swing up a first scene cut pendulum system. After spending the first few seconds observing or interacting with the system and learning the model, a model-based controller can easily accomplish the task from any given initial condition. Now let's move on a notable question about Lagrangian Cindy. What would happen if necessary terms were not covered by the library? The answer is that Lagrangian Cindy would find an approximate function. In fact, in the double pendulum experiment, a necessary term shown in red is not in the library, but an approximation was found. The coefficients of the terms shown in blue have a slight discrepancy of around one millionth. Therefore, the results are approximations, not expansions. To sum up, Lagrangian Cindy is a Cindy-based method to discover underlying dynamics via the Lagrangian. It can take prior knowledge of simple systems and extract fully interpretable, compact models. Last but not least, Lagrangian Cindy works with both passive observation and active interaction. One drawback of Lagrangian Cindy is occasional failures due to the lack of information on noise. Thank you for watching.